the question is that uh, if for example you have the past earthquake history right and you want to just have an idea about what what response will it produce for one particular structure so one thing which you can directly do without doing any analysis plot its spectrum it will be look it will be like this spectral acceleration versus time period obviously you will require some uh, automated tool to convert this ug dot dot into this spectrum form so you can develop your own program and you can also use an existing program for example seismo signal or there is a very uh, handy program called prism please check that one it is freely available and it one of the functionality is it is very uh, easy to use program the basic functionality is that you give the earthquake time history as an input and it plots its all kind of spectra displacement velocity acceleration and if you want to make your own program all you need to do is that code or automate the solution of one single degree of freedom system using either the hamel integral or step by step direct integration and then put it in loop so every time the mass and stiffness of the single degree of freedom can be changed such that it time period is changed and it calculates the response pick the peak acceleration response acceleration and then change the time period again run that same earthquake again and pick the peak acceleration again so it can run in loop maybe hundreds of times and finally you get hundreds of data points to plot that spectrum so i would really recommend that if you can develop your own code for this purpose you should do it it will add to your understanding of this whole uh, you know concept so um, all you can do is simply convert that ground acceleration into response spectrum at assuming some damping let's say 5% and then you simply check that what is the time period of your structure on the x axis right so if your structure is uh, having a time period somewhere here so you can simply see that uh, the spectral acceleration or response acceleration experienced by my structure as a result of the application of this earthquake is very low right but if your structure lies somewhere here then you can expect a very high spectral acceleration caused by the same earthquake right so you can just have a qualitative idea quickly by just checking that what is uh, where my time period lies in that spectrum and this is uh, this example is for one past earthquake but you can do it for future earthquake also but for that you need to get the spectrum for future earthquake and now you know that you can get it from two ways one is the site specific probabilistic seismic hazard assessment and second is the code equation right in which you just put the site parameters and you get that equation so you can plot it for your site smooth spectrum the design spectrum recommended by building code for future earthquake and just see where your time period lies in that if it is like if it lies in the that range of that peak plateau which means you your structure may experience maximum spectral acceleration out of all possible structures if you have a high rise building its first mode time period may be somewhere here but its second mode time period may be here right so maybe t1 is here t2 is here and t3 may be here in that case you can simply see, see that the spectral acceleration corresponding to second mode uh, will be the maximum so this effect will reflect in the seismic response which is calculated maybe your second mode may govern the the design right the contribution of second mode in forces may be more than the first and third mode if you have a 30 40 story building right so these these are some of the insights which you can directly get without performing any analysis so the detailed non linear analysis dynamic analysis may yield may give you these results but it may take maybe 
one month because it may require non-linear modeling, then non-linear dynamic analysis and then final output. But you may get a qualitative idea directly by placing your time periods on the spectrum itself. right? So, these concepts response spectrum, spectral acceleration, they will be useful in interpreting the analysis results also, seismic analysis results also.